as wine ages, there's a bunch of different complex reactions that occur. Uh, the tannin that's in the wine tends to polymerize, you know, we come together and fall out of solution, and that makes the wine softer and rounder. There's also enzymes that take effect that change the way the wine tastes. It makes them much more elegant and soft and beautiful as, as they age. Now you can age a wine too long, but the, there's a balance where everybody thinks it's perfect. The aromas and flavors in wines come from either the grapes or the oak or the yeast in reality. And really it's a bunch of mixes of those things. As they combine in the barrel, their different components make unique flavors. And that's what makes wine beautiful is that Pinot Noir grapes have a flavor, but once they're fermented, they have a new flavor. And once you add it to the barrel, there's a whole recombination that makes beautiful, elegant flavors. And it's somewhat unpredictable. And that's what the art comes into wine. You know, scientifically, wine may be the same every year, but the art is the recombination you can't control. So the American perception of wine is that wines are single varietals. Um, that's actually pretty unique to America. Most wines throughout the world are blends. Um, that's actually what the best wines usually are, are blends. You know, wines only have to be 75% a single varietal to say it's that varietal. So most wines you purchase in the store are actually blends. That's just the way wine works. If you're buying a bottle of wine to age, um, storing it's important. And it's not the, so much it has to be the perfect temperature all the time, as much as it has to be a steady temperature all the time. If things go up and down a lot, you know, the, the gas moves in and out of the wine, it doesn't like that. So the most important thing is if you can get, keep it about 65 degrees and between 65 and 68 and just hold it there, that is absolutely perfect. Basically your closet and just leave it there. Don't mess with it and it'll be fine. maker makes a bottle of wine they're trying to convey a certain message about what's inside from the packaging the label should invoke something from you that is in present in the wine there should be a connection between the way it looks and the way the wine tastes in alpine growing regions there's always the risk of frost that's uh, one of the issues that makes alpine growing a little more difficult. Um, we prune later, so we try to mitigate that in a variety of ways. One is with pruning, um, one is by long pruning, so you actually aren't doing your, your final pruning, so if, the, if it bursts, you lose things you don't care about. Um, we also fertilize slightly different to try to make the plants have more natural antifreeze, which is really just potassium. If we do get a frost that damages the fruit, we can, because of the pruning systems, we can actually add more bud locations to the plants. So even though we only have one cluster per shoot instead of two, we can actually increase the number of buds to increase our fruit yield. Um, it's not a perfect solution, but it is a solution that works.